Hello guys and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn about project information tool in Microsoft Project 2013. So as the name suggests itself, this tool helps me to give the information about my project. Information like the start date of the project, end date, like the finish date, the status date, the calendar which is associated with it and also I can change the current date with this help of this project. Now we will try to change this constraint and see what are the changes happening in my project tool in our practical approach. In this video we are going to talk about project information tool. So where I can find it in this software? It is quite simple. I just have to go to the project tab and under the project tab I see project information. Let me click on this project information. If I click on the project information another window will pop up in front of your screen showing different constraints. As you can see I have start date, finish date, scheduling from, current date, status date and the calendar. Now let's try to understand these constraints one by one. Now what is the start date? Now let's see that as of now the start date for this project is from Monday alright but for some other reason the start date shifts from Monday to Wednesday so if I want to make the changes if I do it manually it will take me loads of time as I have to go through each and every task right so in order to make the changes for just one, all subsequent tasks I will use this start date in this start date I'll click on this drop down box and I say that let's take the start date for this project from Wednesday onwards. So if I click on this date, it take is it is taking as Wednesday, and if I hit OK, see you can see the changes in my project timeline as well. So let me click on OK. As you can see, the start date has been shifted from Monday to Wednesday, and subsequent changes can can be seen in the rest of the task as well. Alright, so this was all about start date. Similarly, let's go to the next constraint that says the current date. Now current date is the feature which shows the current date. By default, it should always pick the updated date from the calendar. So we will not try to change any of those. Alright, moving on, the next one is the status date. Now what is status date? Let's try to understand. If I click on this drop down box, the status date drop down box, it gives me a calendar, a generalized calendar. Let's take a uh, 28. Alright, so I'm taking the start date as 28 or the status date as 28 and see what happens. The moment I hit OK, under the project tab, under the project tab, there has been some update under the status group. It says that status date is 28th of this month, that is 28 June 2017. Now what does it mean? It will update the all the criteria or all the elements in the certain project on this particular date and give me the update about my project. So this will keep on repeating the moment I click on this date and if I select the status date it will click or it will show me the updated status of that particular project in a updated form. Alright, so this was all about status date. Now let's try to understand the next element and that says schedule from. So what does this schedule from says? If I click on this drop down box it gives me two options that is project start date and project finish date so if I click on project finish date if you see the start date gets phased out and my finish date now comes into picture so in this way I can select the start date and the finish date according to my priorities alright so this is for start date and finish date using schedule from now moving on with the next option that is my calendar now as you can see you must be getting the option as standard by default it is standard but in my previous videos I have created a new calendar and I have named it as a task calendar and I have assigned this calendar to this particular project that's the reason it is showing me this as task calendar so using this drop down box I can create my own calendar and assign this calendar to a particular given project alright so with this let me keep this as standard and I hit OK so you see there are subsequent changes now if you see it again goes back to 2.4 to 21.44 days so which is not a valid 
day duration of a particular task so let me make the changes accordingly I'll go to project information I'll go to the calendar drop down box and I select the calendar which was being firstly set by me so I hit OK now I have the updates and I have the proper duration with me okay then with this video I complete the chapter for project information tool